my personal question to you is why not you? Your biggest enemy is you. My whole book is about you battling yourself. People don't understand is you against you. The only person that gets in your way is you. Nobody else. It's you. You cannot change your life unless you change something. If you always do what you always did, you'll always get what you always got. It's more socially acceptable to be our own biggest critic than it is to be our own biggest cheerleader. Listen to the pain. It's both history teacher and fortune teller. Pain teaches us who we are we. Sometimes it's so bad we feel like we're dying. But we can't really live till we die a little, can we? You've got the brains. You can make decisions. You can study the plan. You can change your life. You can grow immensely in the next few years. You can make your dreams come true. You can build a financial wall around your family nothing can get through. You can become healthy. You can become powerful. Why not you? The fear is never reaching your potential. That's it. That always falling short, always quitting before you're done, always procrastinating, always not doing the right thing. And then one day you're an old man. Yep. And you look back and go, God, I could have been great. Yep. I could have been great. Take yourself out your comfort zone. Do not live in your bubble. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. The, the unfulfilled potential is the story of most people's lives. It is. It is. It, and it could have been the story of mine. And I tell a lot of people, people go, what's your biggest fear in life? And my biggest fear, honestly, was, let's say this, let's say, uh, I don't care if you believe in God or not, I don't care. So this, this is play a game with me. Let's say, let's say you're God. And we have a big fucking long line of people. And I made to heaven, 75 years old, I'm 300 pounds, I made to heaven, I worked for Ecolab my entire life, spraying for cockroaches, that's what I did. But I'm dead, I'm in heaven now. And you are at, you're, you're judging us all now. So we're in line, we're all sitting there in line. You have Adam Brown, he has a big board up and you're talking to Adam Brown about his life. And you rip it down and I'm next in line, David Goggins. I see my name, I see all this shit. And God goes, hey, you say, read this, man. Now I'm reading this list and I'm seeing 182 pounds, Navy SEAL, Ranger School, motivational speaker, changing lives. Okay, man, pull up record, all this shit. And I'm like, that's not me, man. And God looks at me and says, that's who you were supposed to be. You've got to be a little bit gone to it. You're not all there. You've got to be almost insane to your craft. Mm. Not a lot of people can understand that. When it feels scary to jump, Ian, that is exactly when you jump. Otherwise, you end up staying in the same place your whole life. And that I can't do. You're always afraid to take the first step because all you see is every negative thing 10 miles down the road. You are bound by nothing. You love this game. I mean, love it with your whole heart. Because if you don't, let's not even bother. Let's not open that door. They're just going to slam it right in our face. I love this game. I live this game. And there's a thousand other guys waiting in the wings who are obsessed with this game. Obsession is going to be talent every time. You got all the talent in the world, but are you obsessed? Is it all you ever think about? Let's face it, it's you against you out there. When you walk on that court, you have to think, I am the best guy out there. I'm going to have setbacks, I know. But if I'm feeling bad, that doesn't mean I'm doing bad. That doesn't mean I am bad. That doesn't mean that I can't still take some action. Because, yeah, nothing changes and nothing changes, man. Everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you. 
and you can change it, you can influence it, you can mold it. When you had that third failure in a row, did you think, I need to pack this in? Never. Why not? I don't ever give up. I mean, I'd have to be dead or completely incapacitated. I always felt like I could do anything. That's the main thing people are controlled by. Thoughts, their perception of themselves. They're slowed down by their perception of themselves. If you're taught you can't do anything, you won't do anything. I was taught I could do everything. Sunrise, sun goes down. There is a up, there is a down. Since we are born, we have inhaled 50% of our times. We have exhaled 50% of our times. Our heart, the same, sucking the blood, pumping the blood, also the same, always 50-50. Always the exchange between left and right, up and down, bright and dark, in and out, success and failure. This world is not propagating failure to you, it is propagating success to you. So our mind is looking for success, starting to believe there's only one way, there's only one direction in this life that we live. To all of you watching here, come close to the screen and listen. People don't have to like you. People don't have to love you. They don't even have to respect you. But when you look in the mirror, you better love what you see. You better love what you see. Thank you to the critics. Thank you. Sometimes life can really hijack your fucking mind. When that happens to you, you're all fucked up. Your goals, your ambitions, everything is out the fucking window. In life, we all go through different things. Sometimes your girlfriend or boyfriend breaks up with you. Guess what? Get the fuck over it. They no longer want you. Maybe you failed a test in school. You worked your ass off. Guess what? You failed the fucking test. Get over it. Move past it. Learn to not let life hijack your brain. At work, you've been working your ass off for that new promotion. You don't fucking get it. Someone else does. Maybe they kiss better ass than you do. Guess what? Get over it. Life will hijack your mind if you let it. Don't allow all these things to make you a lesser person. You must own your mind. Don't let life own yours. It's time to stay focused. It's time to decide. Fuck clubs. Fuck partying. Fuck trying to fit in. Thank you.